Hey everybody, so I'm going to do a quick electronic tool haul that I got from Amazon. So please stick around and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Alright everybody, so quick little electronic haul from Amazon. We're going to just cut right into it. I also picked up uh, this um, Miller gauge uh, for um, welding steel as gauge gaps so you can gauge your metal real quickly instead of uh, trying to remember that was only this was only five dollars so I picked it up it's actually a genuine Miller part and the part number for this is 229895 gauge wire metal size by Miller. This came with extra amenities um, with this gimbal. It's got um, a little gimbal tripod. It has the session mount for the GoPro session um, adapter. And it has this um, lateral cell phone holder. You can actually mount to the side of the gimbal and mount your cell phone and the GoPro on it. This wrapping is not as stiff as the other one, as the smooth. The back, it states, manufactured by Herstiller Gillen Fayu Technology Incorporated. It's got a Japanese or Chinese address, third floor B Golan Electronic Valley Innovation Building, blah, 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 China. This is, this is a Fayotech G6. It is a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi gimbal. It has an email also. Um, this is what the front looks like. This one is the newer model. It supports the Hero 7. This one is definitely nicer than the, the Smooth 4 from Xeom. This one actually has a nice kind of pleathery filling case. It's kind of a coppery bronze color. And I will do a review on this one also. It's got some instruction manuals and it's got a little box in here with looks like charging cables and two screws. It is a USB micro and it looks like it's got a USB-C and um, looks like another micro tether cable which I would assume this is to charge the GoPro from the gimbal and this is to probably just to charge the gimbal itself it comes with a wrapped battery, which is a 26650, 3.6 volt, 5000 milliamp battery. Which is pretty basic, bare bones, um, vape battery. i to get a little closer. It's got some riveting on the case this one this strap right here is velcro but these two are actually riveted into the case which is kind of nice it's like it's got a little 
the foam and start to protect the gimbal. I like the Fiotex because you can unscrew them and just slide a battery in, which is nice. And the bottom actually has a mounting screw for a quarter inch thread. Got a couple switches on the back, got buttons on the back. It's got a mounting on the side for the the good the cell phone mount. It's got a USB in this side. A um, couple generic buttons and a swivel switch. I will do a review on this after I get used to using it. Give give me a few days to mess with it, and I'll give you guys a review on it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon if you want to see future updates. Leave me a comment if you want to see something specific. This one is specifically for GoPros. Um, check out the Amazon affiliate links, and uh, I'm also going to open. This is the little Fiutech tripod, which is pretty nice. This is the phone mount, which is actually really nice. It's actually made of steel. Some kind. It could be aluminum. It's really nice metal. And then this is the Hero GoPro Sessions. All right, the video cut out. So the last thing I opened was the the mount for the Hero set, the not Hero, but the GoPro Sessions um, adapter for the the GoPro Sessions camera. Comes with the adapter bracket, two screws, um, which it also came with two extra other screws. These are short, um, just for the main gimbal itself. Um, just in case, because I'm not sure if it's it saved all of it, but here's the actual phone mount. It's actually pretty nice. It's definitely made of steel or aluminum of some kind. Um, so, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.